hello all of you watching this video i'm sure by now all of you have um, yes uh, logged into the google classroom so then comes the next part of it which is how do i submit assignments it can be tests it can be homework or anything whatever is been assigned to me on google classroom how do i respond back or how do i reply back to them uh, first of all like we have logged into the google classroom i think this is how this home screen for all of us looks right now whichever class i am uh, assigned to so i get into my classroom and then see here i see i've got a new assignment right it could be my physics test chemistry test, whatever test the moment i've got a new assignment it will be posted here if not here i would have it inside see i get into the demo classroom i get into the test right so i get into the test i see when is it due right and then i see what are the instructions please remember to read your instructions clearly whatever are the instructions let's ensure that we have read all the instructions understood it there will be a pdf attached which will of course be the uh, question paper that we would all have so here you know in the at the bottom we all can see now that it's there my work right so how do i actually so it's missing so then how do i turn in my work is here you go before that i would have looked into the question paper i would have completely solved it right as the instruction itself says i would ensure that i have written my student id and my complete name right so after which i'm going to do here this is how we go so what i've done is for you all i have done my assignment i've completed it right so i need to attach my assignment here so what i'm going to do is i can use any um, scanner app right you could pick up an adobe you can you can pick up an adobe scan or you can pick up any scanning app that is there the camera scanner app that you all have so we would just open that right now i'm going to start one so we need to ensure like i said so this is my page one right so i have written my student id i have written my name all of that uh, right now coming here so i'm going to yes i've captured that okay i'm going to see this so this is my page one so whatever pages i'm going to write i should ensure that uh, i have scanned all the pages in the same pdf itself so i'm going to attach it as a pdf so that was my page one so i'm going to add more documents on the same page here you go Yeah, I'm just quickly doing it so you all can ensure that you do it neatly, properly. Okay, so yeah, adjust your brightness, whatever you would like to do in the scanning app. So here I go. I have done this. And now I am going to save this. Yes, I'm going to save this document as whatever that, um, of course, my name, right? and whatever that test is along with the subject and the date that i would like to put right so i'm going to write the date as well here and i'm going to save that day's date you all can do so i've done that so there are two ways to do now i can share directly from here right which i would go and it's creating a pdf right and i can directly share from here on the app that i am there that i go click on google classroom and it will attach to an assignment right the other way is i actually go to the google classroom go to my test now i've done it i have clicked it i have saved it as pdf so i'm going to add attachment right so where is my attachment so i'm going to go pick it up from the files yes whichever is my scanned so now i can see i had saved it as name demo test which is today's pdf right so normal android way is i'm going to select yes so i'll wait for it to attach
yes we have done the attached uh, attachment now like we have attached the file here here uh, what is very very important is to ensure that we hand in or turn in right we, uh, that's more like saying submit right if you have any private comments that you want to add you can add any private comments otherwise you could leave it but very very critical you all can see your work right now on the right hand side it says as missing but the moment i click on hand in right it says one attachment will be submitted for this particular test i say yes it's like submitting so i say hand in right and then it's getting updated right so yes handed in right and then you will get to know the work that is done so this is how we actually now you can see from missing it has now gone to handed in simple now until now it was actually showing for us that the assignment was not done right now it has come to the handed in column yes now you can see you have already from the missing your status has come to handed in option right this is how we submit the test on the google classroom platform yes all the very best